Did you know Queens, New York is actually the largest borough in the city that never sleeps? And it might not have the hipster cred Brooklyn has. Queens is a hotbed of culture, great activities, parks, and food. So join Vucation as we take you through our picks for the best things to do in Queens, New York. MoMA PS1 Attention art lovers, if you're looking for a vast and well-curated collection of modern art, look no further than MoMA PS1 in Queens. The museum first opened its doors in 1971 and was first known as the Institute for Art and Urban Resources, Inc. It was located inside a public school building that was constructed in 1892, and its original function was to be an organizer of art shows. The PS1 building got a major facelift and renovation in 1997, and after joining forces with MoMA, which is short for New York's Museum of Modern Art, in 2001, the MoMA PS1 phenomenon was created. And if you're worried about this being a rinky-dink art operation, worry no more. It's a 125,000 square foot facility. It features a project space two stories tall, and there's an outdoor gallery too. MoMA PS1's mission is to not only exhibit contemporary art, but also to foster creativity by exhibiting artworks that incorporate several mediums, including technology, performance, and photography. They have a regular setup of eight areas that have solo exhibitions from artists around the globe. And the fun doesn't end there. In the summer, MoMA PS1 hosts their warm-up music series. They feature live music every Saturday in their courtyard. Over the years, big names like Lizzo and Cardi B have performed there. So, if you're planning to come in the summer months, bring your dancing shoes. Queen's Botanical Garden Moving from gorgeous art to gorgeous nature, the Queen's Botanical Garden is the perfect thing to do in Queens for any nature lovers. And it's not just a quick stroll in the park either. There are 25 different gardens that take up 39 acres of land. Not exactly what you'd imagine when you picture the bustling city of New York. This amazing set of gardens was first established in Flushing, Queens as a showcase of the World's Fair in 1939. New York hosted it that year, and the botanical gardens were a big hit. So much so, they were expanded after the fair ended to take up most of Flushing Meadows Park. The gardens were moved a couple decades later, during the ramp up to the 1964 World's Fair, to the current location along Cassina Creek. The Botanical Garden offers a huge variety of flora and fauna that you'll enjoy taking a leisurely stroll through. In the warmer months, you can walk around and take in the Bee Garden, the Herb Garden, and the Rose Garden. There's also a great set of Oak Alley, as well as perennial and annual beds. And it's not just about the views. The rich and luxurious smells of the plants in the Fragrance Garden is worth the trip alone. And if you're traveling with kids, this will be one of their favorite spots in the park. It should also come as no surprise that the botanical gardens are perfect for photography of all kind. But it's an especially great spot for wedding photos, engagement photos, and the like. Stop by the wedding garden, which has an elegant white picket fence and gazebo, to see if your important photo shoot should happen there. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Queens, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. City Field if you're a baseball fan, you're likely already familiar with City Field. It's home of Major League Baseball's New York Mets. It's one of the newer MLB stadiums and was constructed in 2009. It replaced Shea Stadium, which was the longtime home for the Mets. This 42,000-seat stadium is a great place to see a game, and because of the metro system in New York, it's very easy to get to. If you're visiting during baseball season, it's worth picking up some tickets to watch the Mets play, even if you're not a big baseball fan. The atmosphere, activities, and fun concessions at Major League Games make it worthwhile on their own. As you walk in, you'll see the Jackie Robinson Rotunda featuring a large statue of the barrier-breaking player. And inside, you'll have a ton of food choices at the food court. There's also a great area known as FanFest that features various family entertainment options. There are even video game kiosks for the gamer in your family. Even if you visit during the off-season or on an off-day, you can still check out the Mets Hall of Fame and Museum and tour the stadium, or see one of their famous Bark at the Park events where people bring their dogs inside to socialize. Get your eat on. As you might expect, as the largest borough in New York, there's no shortage of incredible food options in Queens. And the highly diverse population means you can get cuisines from all over the world that you might not be able to get in most cities and states. And since many of the restaurant owners and chefs are native to the part of the world where their food is from, you know it's authentic and delicious. Your first stop could be in Chinatown, which is in Flushing. It's actually bigger than the one in Manhattan. One of our favorites is Nang Chang Zhao Long Bao. It's a dumpling house that will tickle your taste buds with delight. 
The crab and pork dumplings are perhaps what they're most well known for, but pretty much any of the savory dumplings served in delicious broth will treat you right. And to make sure your stomach stays happy, they give out free ginger tea. Also in Flushing is an incredible night market located outside the New York Hall of Science. While it's not open in the winter, during the rest of the year you can fill your belly with a huge variety of food options, from mochi waffles to squid skewers to local beers and more. Other parts of Queens are known for different ethnic foods. Head to the Corona area for a plethora of incredible Mexican restaurants. There's fantastic Indian food in Jackson Heights, and Astoria not only has more Greek restaurants than you could ever eat at, but also foods from places as varied as Peru, Tibet, Japan, and Egypt. Long story short, you won't be disappointed as you eat your way through this incredible borough. The Rockaways the Rockaways are actually nine distinct neighborhoods that are all in the Rockaway Peninsula. And during the warmer months, it's a great area to visit for all kinds of fun in the sun. There are two popular beaches in the Rockaways, Jacob Rees Park Beach and Rockaway Beach and Boardwalk. Jacob Rees Park Beach is generally the less crowded of the two, and it's earned its nickname the People's Beach by providing incredible and varied food offerings, art deco buildings, and an area called the Bazaar. The Bazaar has live music, movie events, and games. There's also basketball courts and a golf center for those looking for a little more sporting activity. Rockaway Beach and Boardwalk is the more famous of the two, in part because it's the biggest urban beach in the U.S. On its long stretch of sand are usually lots of people taking in the hot sun and getting tan. It also provides visitors with a chance to learn how to surf, courtesy of the Rockaway Beach Surf Club. And while you're there, grab a delicious taco from the Takaway Beach food stand. Astoria Park Astoria Park is a large outdoor expanse just underneath the RFK Bridge. It's 60 acres large and sees a large variety of people utilizing it every day. There are tennis courts, walking trails, and basketball courts for those looking to get their sweat on. And for the kiddos, there are playgrounds to play on and a huge public pool. In fact, it's the largest and oldest outdoor public pool in New York. Astoria Park is also great if you want to pull out a blanket and just hang. When it's warm out, locals like to stare towards Manhattan and the Bronx, and often the park hosts concerts, movie nights, and other fun outdoor festivities. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Queens? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.